What's going on everybody? Welcome to Novice. Today we are going to be starting a new series, I think. I've always had a truck and it's always been, you know, a Chevy or GMC, but I, I had a job for a little while where I had to travel a lot and a truck just wasn't going to cut it. So there's a few years where I got stuck in a vehicle that I wasn't really a fan of, but I just finally got back into a truck. And there's a lot of different things that I want to do to it, so I figured we'll put it on the channel and share it with you guys. I even took it a step further and gave it a name. And our first mod is going to be something that you might not expect, unless you saw the thumbnail. But uh, first we'll let you take a look at the truck here. It's a 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 Z71 Midnight Edition. And we're going to really be leaning into that because we've named it the Zero Dark Chevy. What we have here is the console vault. This is a custom fitted vehicle safe that fits my model and year and even the type of seat that I have. You can actually get these for just about any make and model vehicle. All you have to do is go on the console vault website and it's super easy to navigate and pick out what vehicle you have and also what seats you have because some of them have different style seating and so you're going to have a different style center console. To so this comes with the vault comes with your instructions and then they also give you four mounting bolts actually has a padded interior here so that you can put your firearm or what have you and not worry about it getting all banged up and it's got this nice sturdy lock on here it's got a spring-loaded door all these edges are nice and rounded off nothing sharp and this is a good solid safe they make them custom for your vehicles you can get these locks in a three digit or a four digit combination or you can get a barrel key so let's go see what it takes to get this thing installed all right so this is my center console and there's at least two different types in this version you have this center console here which offers a decent amount of space it's just like any typical center console but what i really like about this truck is this one flips up and down here you have another one where you can obviously see I keep my firearms and this one has a lock on it but it's just a plastic lock that I assume would be pretty easily defeated but that's actually where this safe fits in this model and it works out perfectly because you have so many layers of protection if you have somebody just trying to do a smash and grab or you leave your doors unlocked you have them coming in here and they're searching and they're going to be unless they're familiar with this model vehicle they're just going to be opening your center console seeing what they can grab and get the heck out of there before anybody notices and then if they are familiar or they're lucky enough to notice that there is a lower center console you have that lock on there which if they're determined enough they could defeat it because they know if you got something locked up in here then it's probably something worth their time but if they get through all that and then they find a safe in there they're probably just going to take off but even if they don't want to and they really want to try to get in there this thing is gonna do a really good job at keeping people out of it. You could put this in here without the bolts if you're one of the people that you don't feel like drilling holes in the side of here. And if you think them just seeing a safe in there is gonna determine enough and seeing that it's locked and they won't take your entire safe, I mean, it's entirely likely that you'll never run into that scenario, but there's so many layers of security here. I'm just gonna bolt mine in and not a big deal. If I ever do wanna get rid of it, which I know I won't, I can just, you know, deal with couple holes being in the side of here where nobody's ever going to see. So let's get this thing in here and we will show you how to install it. Now these bolts are all self-tapping. And you're just going to need a 3 8 nut driver or socket. These ones here I'm going to do by hand just because my drill won't get in there. All 
All right, so right now, these are all set to zero when you get them. So you can see it's not gonna open. Instructions here will tell you exactly how to change your combination. And I obviously won't show you what I'm gonna change mine to. But that's it, it's that easy. Now this thing's not just perfect for firearms. Think of all the things that are in your vehicle that are important or they have your personal information on them. Um, if you just have some documents that are in your car temporarily and you just want to throw them in there, but you also have your, you know, insurance, your registration, all those different things with your name and address and sensitive information on it in your glove box that you can just keep in the safe. And I know with firearms, you're going to want to carry them with you. You want them on you or you want them next to you. Like some people use the gun magnets or they just kind of put them in the crease of the seat. That's not what this is for. This is for when you are going to the post office or a government building or you're at a concert or some kind of event where you can't have your firearm or your knife or whatever, you can just lock it up in here and, or say, you know, you take your gun to work and you can't take it into work, but you like to have it for when you get out. Maybe you don't work in the best neighborhood or you just like to be prepared. Your gun can be locked up safe in this vault. So if, even if somebody breaks into your vehicle, there's a very slim chance that they're gonna be accessing your firearm. But I'm a huge fan of the console vault and I think everybody needs to have one regardless on what you drive or like I know we considered it a mod for the truck here but you know if you got a vehicle that you're not modding you just have your daily driver you need one of these in your car those little plastic locks in your glove box aren't going to cut it for hiding your personal information think about when you valet your vehicle and you don't want somebody to have access to your address and your name and whatever else you might have in your glove compartment or again like I said your firearm so you don't want people to have access to that stuff. And on top of that, a lot of vehicles don't even have locking glove boxes anymore. So go get yourself a console vault. Go to consolevault.com. I'm going to show you right now how easy it is. All right, so you're going to bring up consolevault.com. You're just going to go to the menu. Select make, Chevrolet, model, Silverado 1500. Select year, 2018. And then it brings up the two different center console options for that year. And we have the under seat console. We're just going to click that. And then it tells you what lock type you're going to want if you scroll down here. And you can do the barrel key lock, the three digit combination lock. Or if you pay an extra $35, you can do the four digit combination lock, which is the one that we have. And then you're simply going to add it to your cart. It's just that simple to get one for yourself. So thank you guys for watching the first in the series of the Zero Dark Chevy. Follow the Zero Dark Chevy on Instagram. Follow Novice American on Instagram. Subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. So I was just getting ready to set my combination here, and I just read this very important red print. Make sure you set combination before installing your safe. So I think I'm going to be just fine doing it without, but make sure you follow those instructions because I didn't.